This is the infamous Shades of Death Road in Warren County, New Jersey, known to many as the most haunted road in America. This is Ghost Lake, an allegedly haunted lake with a mysterious reputation, right beside Shades of Death. And this is where we stayed, two nights in a row, along America's most haunted road. I'm Becca, and this video is being posted on June 19th, 2022, on my 28th birthday. Exactly one year ago, I celebrated my 27th birthday by renting out a cabin with a group of my friends and doing an overnight investigation of Shades of Death Road and Ghost Lake. And yes, those are their real names. That's Shades of Death Road. And this is where we are staying. I had visited Shades of Death back on a Friday the 13th in October of 2019, but not like this. If you've seen my previous video, you might be familiar with the legends of this road, the lake, Lenape Lane, Jenny Jump Forest, and the Fairy Cave. All of these locations are hotspots for urban legends, paranormal activity, rituals, and even murder. And they are all beside each other. The legends go as follows. Shades of Death, a pitch black stretch of road in the Great Meadows has been around for so long that no one knows the true origins of its name. There have been plenty of theories backed by historical records. The shades aspect seems to come from the trees that overhang the road, creating a canopy effect. The death aspect could have developed for numerous reasons, such as a massacre involving Lenape Indians, a malaria or cholera outbreak around 1850, possible vicious wildcats in the area who, according to early folklore, would attack and kill travelers, and numerous lynchings and murders. In fact, at least three true documented murders have occurred here between the 1920s and 30s, and in the 1800s, a man and his horse were found dead on the road. More recently, Mysterious Polaroid photos depicting blurry bodies have been found beside the road. To this day, shady activity occurs along the road, such as rituals. Rumors and stories in regards to ghosts, grisly murders, abandoned houses, cabins, and barns, connecting roads, and monsters such as the Big Red Eye still circulate. Ghostly figures are said to have been seen within the intense fog that appears on the road nightly. Some paranormal investigators have even captured video of this phenomenon. There's a property or stretch of road referred to as Haunted Hollow, which, according to legend, is the most active. These figures appear and vanish, including that of a young woman. Another urban legend states, that performing a certain ritual can reveal to you the spectral images of two children who were supposedly killed while playing in the road. There have been reports of a mysterious, even blinding light that seems to follow your car no matter how fast you go. Another mysterious phenomenon occurs on Route 80 West between exits 12 and 19, the exact spot that Shades of Death runs through. A chilling number of severe or even fatal accidents supposedly occur within this area. Ghost Lake. Right along Shades of Death and close to our cabin is Ghost Lake, a man-made lake which likely received its name due to the chilling ghost-like mist that would arise from the lake almost every morning. 
With a name like Ghost Lake, however, this spot comes with its own local legends. This area was once home to Lenni Lenape Indians, and it is believed that the construction of the lake disrupted their sacred grounds, leading to their spirit's unrest. They are said to haunt the lake, and some visitors claim to see a bright sky above the lake in the late evening or even at night with no natural explanation to this odd phenomenon. Another legend claims that a woman, and some even add her groom, drown in the lake, her apparition still appearing within the mist. Near this lake and the road, people have experienced issues with their car and other equipment. I don't know. <laughs> Yo, what the f- Get out of here. What is this? What is it? I don't know. Red rum. Stop. I would say, like, put it near the, the water. So we're taking out the ghost hunting equipment. And, I don't know, just experimenting. So if it, if it moves, it means there's a energy present, but it doesn't always mean it's a paranormal energy. Fairy Cave, or Fairy Hole, is a small cave up a small mountain beside Ghost Lake. During a 1936 excavation, many Lenape Indian artifacts were discovered. These included pieces of pottery, evidence of a fire pit at the opening, and most notably, more than 10,000 bone fragments from 23 different species of animals, including the tooth of a giant extinct beaver that is nowhere else to be found in the state. It is evident that rituals have occurred here for hundreds of years, and likely still do today, in a more modern nature. During our first visit, the cave looked like this. During our second, it looked like this. It seems that, unfortunately, some vandals decided to disrespect the cave, which probably does not serve well if there truly are spirits of Lenape Indians in the area. How do you feel about the vandalism? I hear that toad. That toad has a Maybe lot of opinions. Yeah, that was so funny. Jenny Jump Forest is 4,466 acres and is right beside Shades of Death Road. According to local lore, a young girl named Jenny felt threatened by a Lenape Indian and jumped off a mountain edge to her death. Her spirit is said to haunt the forest, which also includes a campground. Also in the area is Lenape Lane, which we did visit in 2019. This small road is supposed to be very haunted. One legend speaks of a red light that, if seen in your rear view after circling a big tree, can signify your imminent death. Some have even compared this light to red eyes, perhaps the eyes of a beast. Someone who traveled down this road even claimed his windows fogged up, and the shape of a skull and more formed on his windshield only to disappear once they left Lenape Lane. There's a barn or an abandoned stable at the end of the road, where allegedly a farmer took his own life by hanging. The following is our investigation. I couldn't believe I was actually staying at one of my favorite haunted locations with many of my best friends. It felt too good to be true. This is my first night on Shades of Death Road overnight. It's currently 
one something in the morning. Some people are sleeping. Some of us are awake. We're split up between three, four different rooms. I went outside to close the gate and it was kind of spooky. One of the doors opened on the room. So I kind of gave up trying to close it. And there's random lightning. No rain, just random lightning. Oh, it just happened. Wow, that was perfect timing. If I was less tired, I'd be walking outside at 3 in the morning to Ghost Lake, but I'll try to do that tomorrow. Around 3 a.m. the following night, we decided to investigate Ghost Lake, taking Shades of Death Road by foot. Look, it's black dark behind us. I can't. Like, actually, though, yeah, the boy. Like, I think. Yeah. There's, like, so much mist. This camera's gonna be. Just look at that dense fog. And without our flashlights, we would have been in pitch black darkness. This is the craziest thing I've ever done. Like, actually. It is actually pitch black. Yeah, don't say that. <laughs> I saw like movement. Oh my god, it's like the movie The Mist. We're inside of a cloud right now. We're basically in a cloud. <laughs> We saw what looked like an eerie figure in the woods on the way to Ghost Lake, but it was most likely an optical illusion. We're at Ghost Lake. It's past three in the morning at this point. The next morning, I was taking in the beautiful scenery and the famous mist of the Great Meadows. <music> Lastly, here's a quick montage of some fun times with my amazing friends, who truly made this my best birthday ever, where I was able to be in my element. <laughs> Never. <laughs> Wait. This is me, John. Welcome to my crib. <laughs> Oh, I'm fine. Oh, I didn't touch the cricket. But over here, we have the fireplace! And over here is the rug that almost just decapitated me! And over here, we have an ailer chandelier! This is my crib, you know That was beautiful. I know. <laughs> Our cabin literally looks like the house from Hereditary. <laughs> oh, yeah. ah, you look out for that big blob of poop. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna get abducted. <laughs> In my nose. Yo, pretend you're like one of those car sales things that are like noodle arms. <laughs> yo, yo, noodle arms. It. Hold on, hold on. Can I quote the frog? Yeah. Ding, ding, oh, I thought ding, her ding. instant. Ding, I was like, ding. what? Yeah. <laughs> Andrew and I got like mysterious scratches on the backs of our legs for no reason. Like we didn't even touch anything. I literally just got here and it wasn't. I even definitely. Where'd they like, go? Wait. They're, they're over here. Oh wait, look, look at that. Actually, 
Where are they coming from? Oh, I don't know where that comes from. It must be a Wendigo. It's the only explanation. <laughs> I don't like that. What? Yeah. A snake crawling in my butt. I wonder if he's looking for his like bullfrog friends. Oh my god, he's so little. Aww. And we have Becca fighting all the bugs. Isn't this road so pretty? Like. Woo! Oh yeah. Let's see what happens. <laughs> oh! Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, and for more videos like this one, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. See you next time. That was scary, man. <laughs>